How to make a calendar on MIT App Inventor. If you're looking to create a calendar app using MIT App Inventor, you're in the right place. Let's break down the steps to help you build a functional and user-friendly calendar app. First, you need to set up your project in App Inventor. Open the App Inventor interface and create a new project. You'll need to design the user interface, UI, to include components like labels, buttons, and possibly a date picker or a list view to display calendar entries. To create a clean and functional calendar, you can start by designing the UI. For a basic calendar, you might want to include a grid layout to representing the days of the week and the dates of the month. Each cell in the grid can be a label that displays the date. You can arrange these labels in a way that resembles a calendar, with rows four weeks and columns four days of the week. Next, you'll need to handle the logic behind the calendar. This involves initializing the calendar data and updating it dynamically. You can use the date picker component to let users select dates. When a user selects a date, you can store this information in a database or a list to keep track of events or tasks associated with that date. For displaying calendar entries, you can use the web component to fetch data from APIS if you're integrating with services like Google Calendar. For example, to display Google Calendar events, you need to register your app with Google APIS, get a client ID, and use the web one get method to retrieve events from the Google Calendar API. You'll construct the URL with the calendar ID and access token, and then use the lookup in pairs block to extract and display the event data. If you're creating a local calendar without API integration, you can use TinyDB to store and retrieve data. For instance, you can store to-do items or events with dates as tags and retrieve them based on the selected date. You can use lists and dictionaries to store multiple events per day, making it easier to manage and display the data. To insert new calendar entries, you can use text boxes for users to input event details such as date, start time, end time, title, description, and location. You'll then construct the event data in JSON format and use the web one post text method to send this data to the API or store it locally in TinyDB. For a more advanced calendar, you might want to include features like reminders, multiple events per day, and the ability to delete or edit events. You can achieve this by adding checkboxes for reminders and using conditional blocks to handle different scenarios. In summary, creating a calendar app in MIT App Inventor involves designing a user-friendly UI, setting up the logic to handle date selections and event storage, and using components like Date Picker, Web, and TinyDB to manage and display calendar data. With these steps, you can build a functional and useful calendar app.